Hello everybody, it is me, Mr. Spinosaurus, and today we are doing another fantasy battle. Now, this battle was actually requested, so if you want to request a battle, go ahead in the comment section below and tell me what battle you'd like to see, and I'd do some research and run them down. And today, as you can see, we are fighting Godzilla against King Kong, and I've realized that, uh... I didn't want to do the original King Kong versus Godzilla, uh, just because, you know, Godzilla, uh, old Godzilla had so many powers and so many abilities, he was basically overpowered to King Kong, and I thought, why not just use uh, Godzilla 2014 uh, and against Peter Jackson King Kong in, uh, you know, kind of as a warrant or such a welcome if you will to the next Godzilla vs. King Kong which uh, I think is coming out I'm not too sure though but without further ado let's get started so Peter Jackson's King Kong lives on Skull Island like every other King Kong pretty much this big generic ape you know King Kong um, nothing too out of the ordinary about him, he's more of a real-life creature than a kaiju. Um, you know, he kind of fits into the environment a little bit more than a kaiju would. Uh, yeah, but as we have seen, King Kong is the king of Skull Island, you know. He took on uh, three Venatosauruses all at once with a girl in his hand, and he he killed them all. And he did a fabulous job on that, breaking one's jaw, uh, ripping out its tongue, which is a little bit gross. So, yeah, Kong is definitely very powerful on his island. Uh, he is very strong, very battle-scarred, as you can see here, um, from the various fights that he has had to endure. Um, but... Really, the thing that makes him even close to a match to Godzilla is his brain. He's kind of like the smart one compared to the two. Uh, because in Godzilla 2014, Godzilla is represented as an animal. And as we know of reptiles, they're not very smart compared to apes, like Kong. So Kong is really going to have to use his brain... Uh, gonna have to figure out some ways to uh, get Godzilla down for a while and just beat on him in order to uh, help win. Now as you see here this is uh, fan art of course. Uh, I believe it's Neo King Kong or something like that. And as you can see he has ele electricity kinda like Chidori actually just forming around his fist. I did decide to add this into the Kong fight against Godzilla because Godzilla has his atomic breath and Kong has nothing. So why not just give him electricity punches? Yeah. So that will hopefully give Kong an extra helping hand or foot to the fight against Godzilla. Okay, on to the big baddie king of kaiju himself, Godzilla. This Godzilla, Godzilla 2014, is the biggest Godzilla ever made. He is 350 feet tall. That is, I believe, 36 stories. Uh, comment on me if I'm wrong. Or correct me if I'm wrong. But that is just huge compared to Kong. He is a monster. He is a kaiju, the king of kaiju. He is the great A, bad A of the town, world, city, Tokyo. You get the point. Godzilla has so many things under his belt. He has, he has size. He has experience. He has uh, just pure animalistic power. He has his atomic breath. Uh, this guy fought the army. Uh, well, I wouldn't say fought, but, you know, kind of 
didn't die from the army. And that was... Mm. And, not to mention, Godzilla's durability, his reluctancy, and his healing factor. He has... Uh, it, it wasn't really touched on in Godzilla 2014, but he does have somewhat of a healing factor, and he has somewhat of a resistance uh, towards attacks, because as we've seen, he took a lot of beating from the Mutos, uh, both Mutos actually, and you know, he got knocked out for a little bit, but then 10-15 minutes later he stood right up and was able to take out the other Mutos. I mean, yeah, it knocked out again, but still, he's pretty durable. And pretty smart, too. Uh, even though he is an animal, uh, he is still sentient. He still is smart. He can figure out problems. Just not as smart as Kong, for say. So, yeah. Godzilla is just a beast, a monster on the battlefield. He's a tank. So, who wins? Well, it's no challenge, really. When we're talking about an, a kaiju and an oversized animal, uh, it's kind of one-sided. Um, Kong is strong, he's smart, but compared to Godzilla, he's nothing. Godzilla would just crush him without any thought. Godzilla is way too big, way too powerful, and way too animalistic. Kong is an animal, yes, but Godzilla has that primal animal in him. He traded intelligence for strength and power and size. And Kong's brain just wasn't big enough to help him figure out a way to defeat Godzilla 2014. Godzilla has so many things going for him under his belt that if Kong even hopes to even put up a fight against Godzilla, he's going to have to size up or power up, whichever one you want. And I have a feeling that's what they're going to do in the new Godzilla vs. King Kong movie. So, if you like this commentary and you're new to the channel, please leave a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And please comment. Any comments you want, uh, even if there's suggestions for fantasy battles, uh, I will most likely read them and do them like I did uh, this one. Now, granted, I must apologize to the uh, person who asked me to do this because I told hi uh, him slash her that I would do it that night, but I got caught up in things, so my apologies. And here you go. So, yeah, guys. Uh, I'm Mr. Spinosaurus, I'll see you all next time.